Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are turning these acrylic boxes into a stacked wedding seating chart display for the Four Seasons Veil. All of the fonts and supplies are listed below in the video description and please let me know any questions or comments you have as we work through this. First I make the decals using my Cricut Maker in premium outdoor vinyl. I designed these in Cricut Design Space using 15 squares as my placeholder just to get a better idea how these will look all stacked. Um, the bottom row of boxes will be blank to add height, then the nine tables with one box per table, plus a Your Seat Awaits box for the very top. Now that my decals are all ready, my husband Sean and I prep the boxes. This is probably the most time consuming part of the whole operation. These 14 inch boxes were a special order from my local plastic store and each are missing one side so we can easily add in florals or greenery. Each side of the acrylic walls has a protective sheet so we need to remove then give each a quick clean to wipe any dirt and fingerprints away. These boxes were pretty pricey, so I will be leaving the backgrounds clear so they can be used over and over. And if you purchase these boxes for your own wedding, I would consider doing the same so you can easily sell everything afterwards. So now that my boxes are all unwrapped and clean, I am using the hinging method to apply the decals onto the boxes. Now usually here with clear acrylic, I would have these laying flat on top of like a Cricut mat or a cutting mat, something that is easily going to help me align and center these decals. But since these boxes are sitting 14 inches up off the table, that's kind of hard to do. So if you need to, you can use a measuring tape just to make sure that the names are centered and also that the very first name on each table is going to be the same distance from the top as the next. That's just something that I did just to help make all of the boxes look more uniform when they will be set up. So now that all of the decals are placed, it's time to give these another quick clean and wrap these back up for transporting. We used about half a sheet of packing paper to protect the lettering, then wrap these in sets of two. Wrapping these in sets of two is definitely not needed, but for the four seasons, we actually had to park and transport these boxes from the loading dock on one end of the hotel to the reception space on the other end. So we actually wrapped these in two, brought a small dolly with us so we could stack these eight at a time. This was such a lifesaver for the short amount of time we had to set up at the Four Seasons and so we didn't have to make 15 trips carrying one box at a time. So for the rest of the wedding signage, they went with a brush to ivory background with the same gold lettering that we have on the acrylic boxes. I just wrapped these up really quick and then rest up for the big day.
So here we are at the ceremony at the Four Seasons Vale. This is probably one of the craziest ceremony spots I've ever seen. This pool typically does not have that runway in it. It is built the day of for the couple to walk on to their ceremony spot, which is in right in front of the fireplace. Absolutely gorgeous setup. Um, we had a few signs set up in there. And then moving into cocktail hour is outside under these bistro lights. Absolutely gorgeous. And then right inside those doors to the right is the reception space. So this is where the bar is set up and the acrylic boxes. Um, they don't have any greenery yet because the florist actually does the ceremony space first and then works her way into reception. That is just typically how it is done. But she did end up adding greenery in. I do have a little clip at the very end of this video. But this is how they looked all set up. All 15 boxes, they stacked absolutely beautifully and then had the space for the floors to add the greenery in the back. Now the rest of the signage we had in here was the bar sign, the gifts and cards, the in loving memory was at the ceremony but then moved in here and later throughout the night. The reception space was absolutely gorgeous. It wasn't completely set whenever um, we were dropping off the stuff but they did have these for the centerpieces and then which will be set in the middle of the tables here. Absolutely beautiful gold beaded chargers that I thought matched perfectly with our table numbers. Everything just turned out stunning for this beautiful couple. All of the vendors were amazing to work with and I will be leaving all of their information down below if you are interested in working with any of them. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you soon.